My name is Miss Vanessa and I'm coming to you guys again with another video of things that you could do at home with things you probably already have around the house. Today I wanted to explore the concept of gears. I drew us a picture here of two gears that are right next to each other. A gear is basically a wheel with teeth and these teeth connect to another gear to allow it to move. So when one moves, the other moves. Let's say our first gear is going clockwise. The gear right next to it would go in the opposite direction. So it would go counterclockwise. And let's say we had a third gear that was right next to this one. This one would also go in the direction opposite of the one right next to it. So this one would also go clockwise. There's a lot of everyday objects that use gears. Bicycles use gears to help the wheels move. Some fans use gears to help the blades move around. And some people have hand cranked whisks that you crank and it helps the mechanisms move around so that you can mix things up. And I think the most common thing people think about when they think about gears is a clock. So I took this clock and I have a, a, another clock that's exactly the same as this one and I actually disassembled it. So I took a screwdriver and I opened it up and I was able to see all of the gears inside. So there's big gears and there's small gears inside of this clock and you would think that the bigger gears have more power than the small gears but in fact, the smaller gears have more power because they move around a lot more quickly than the bigger gears since the bigger gears have more uh, teeth that it has to go through in order to make a full rotation. And so today I wanted us to create our very own gears. So I have some wagon wheel pasta and some toothpicks. I'm going to get us set up so that we can create our own and you guys can do the same thing at home. Okay, so to make our very own gears today, I have the following items. I have wagon wheel pasta. I have bigger ones and I also have smaller ones. I think either one will work. I also have toothpicks and I'm using this styrofoam board, but you can use whatever. You can easily stick toothpicks in. So you can use like a paper plate or maybe a cardboard box, anything that you can easily stick the toothpicks through. Uh, and so I'm going to start by taking two wagon wheels and putting them right next to each other and then sticking this toothpick through the center. Now, if I move one, I want to see if both of them will move. Okay, so we've got a success. Both are moving. I want to see if we can make three wagon wheels move by just moving one. Let's see. Okay. When you move one of them, all three are moving. Can we do four? Let's see. Okay. When we move four, all four are moving. Do you think we can do five? Let's find out. Okay. No, five does not work. So the thing with this wagon wheel pasta is that it's not perfectly circular and they're not all the same size. So you're gonna run into little snags. You can always try to trade out your pasta for a separate one and see if that'll fix it. So let's see. Okay, now we have almost all five of them are moving. But let's try it with the smaller wagon wheels. I want to see how long we can make our chain with the smaller wagon wheels. So here I have two of them. I'm going to move. Yep, and they're both moving when you move one of them. Let's try with three. Okay, when you move one, all three are moving. Can we do four? Oh, 
Okay, we have all four of them are moving. Okay, I don't know if five is gonna work, but we're gonna give it a shot. Yep, no, we have only four of them are moving. This fifth one isn't. Let's try to trade it out for a different one and see if that'll fix our problem. Mm, no, it's not moving all of them. So it looks like four was the biggest chain that we were able to successfully do. I want you guys to try this at home and if you do, let us know what you are able to make and see if you can beat me uh, and make a chain of gears that's longer than four. Uh, I hope you guys had fun today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!